Welcome back everyone to Aussie Scrapper and today I have the unboxing for the April Evil Enabler Kit from Auntie Vera's Scraps and Craft. Today I'm going to have my gorgeous daughter Victoria helping with the unboxing and as I'm unboxing I will be putting everything straight into the container that I use for my kits. I love these 12 by 12 boxes that I buy from my local junk store. It's one that we have here in Windsor and it's called uh, the home store and these boxes are about well they are $13.50 and I just love them for storing 12 by 12 pieces of paper and at the moment they're holding my kits for the month okay we're starting with the papers and these are the core products for the month of April and they're from Bow Bunny and the collection's called Cottontail it's a really nice green color and yeah yeah, I do love that green colour and look at these lovely flowers on the back. I like the blue one and the pink one. Yep, I like them all. Great gardening layout that will make. Oh, this paper here, that could go either way to celebrate Easter or even gardening because it's got lovely words that relate to gardening and other stuff like celebration if you're celebrating Easter and Easter will be coming up. Lovely orange and oh my gosh, I love this blue paper it's absolutely beautiful oh and it's got all these lovely little dots and sort of yellows and stuff and look at the other side oh, of it that looks like an easter egg yeah it does look like easter egg paper and here are some lovely gorgeous images of easter eggs so i think i'm gonna have to be scrapping some easter egg layouts oh look at the lovely bunnies they're so gorgeous i love them all oh Wow, uh, that's so gorgeous. I love that paper. Oh, look at this one. Nice. Mmm, your nice gardening paper, I think. Whoa. Whoa, wee zooey mama. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, love that paper. Oh, look at the gorgeous details on those circles and the little flowers. Oh, so many possibilities. There goes my brain. Ding, ding, ding. Lots of layouts coming out again. Oh, lovely gardening paper here. Too bad I don't have a nice garden, but I try. <laughs> this is a nice neutral paper, so I'm sure I'll make use of that somehow. Oh, I love neutral papers. Sometimes it's just what you need for a background. And I'm trying to get the camera to focus. Look at the detail. Absolutely love it. Looks like a... Oh, love this yellow paper and it's got the bunny on the bottom. Ooh. Oh, look at that. It's got lovely little dots on it. Oh, I can just see me. This would be beautiful to do a layout of my godmother because she just loves her flowers. And the other side of it is this gorgeous, gorgeous bunny. Oh, love these flowers and bunnies and easter eggs and oh so many possibilities with these cut aparts oh look at that beautiful. gorgeous paper yeah i think it's beautiful too oh nice dotty one. Oh, these papers all coordinate so Whoa, well this one that one's pearly yeah that's got easter eggs and oh nice orange background oh at that how am i going to choose what am i going to do oh my gosh mm, another hard decision coming up oh another gorgeous easter layout with that and the hidden eggs that's a good for it's a good paper for like an easter hunt yeah oh nice pink soft and some cardstock nice always need cardstock so there's all different colors oops and here's a sticker sheet it's a combo stickers and it's from well obviously Bo bunny from the cotton tail collection now obviously and oh this is going to be fun Oh, love all those stickers. It's going to be really hard to choose, but I'm sure I'll make something with them. And the cardstock, all these colours, I think there's three, blue, pink and green, and they go so well with the other papers. Of course they do, because Auntie Vera picked them, and Auntie Vera's got fantastic, great taste. 
and here we have one of the core products that I chose for myself and it's a lovely die set from Kaisercraft and it is called Flora Leaves. So I got this with a particular layout in mind that I want to make. Uh, whether it works out for me or not, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Oh, I cannot wait to start scrapping. So here is another one of the core products. It's this lovely, these lovely flowers from Graphic 45. And I love the colours. Very neutral. Oh, the things I can do. It's called from the Rose Bouquet Collection. Aren't they stunning? I love Graphic 45 flowers. Oh, I just like flowers. Who am I kidding? My next item is going to help me do a bit of mixed media on my layout. And I picked this lovely Inca Gold uh, paste. And it's called, it's green yellow. But look at that colour. And I think this is going to go lovely with those papers that I've got. Mm -mm, I cannot wait to use it and get messy. My gosh, I love this stamp set that I picked for my core products. It's from Neat and Tangled. And that chicken is just so cute. And look, you've got little glasses you can put on him. And it says you're a good egg. Oh, the possibilities are endless. So, of course, here's the matching die set. That will hopefully eliminate a lot of the fussy cutting. And I picked another embossing powder for my Trad to My Collection and this is from the Lindy Stamp Gang and the colour is King Midas Gold it's called and yes I cannot wait to see what this looks like when I play with it. I thought I might use it for some eggs to emboss the eggs and make them stand out. Anyway we'll wait and see. And of course I had to pick a stencil because you can't do mixed media without a stencil. Well, you can, but I love stencils, so I picked this gorgeous one from Tim Holtz. And last but no, not least, some lovely washi tape. And look at that lovely cow print. Oh, yeah, to me it's cow print. I'm just thinking cows. I'm going to go with cows. Um, I know you, some of you might say leopard print, but it's cow prints for me. Come on, I live in the bush. And look at this beautiful, beautiful love heart with all those rainbow colours. Oh. The possibilities, mm -mm, cannot wait. And there's one more and this lovely blue, I'm not sure what that sign is, but I can see some lovely mail layouts for this lovely washi tape. So let's see what happens. Anyway, bye everyone. And that's it for my enabler kit.